Hey guys, I'm Stan Wolf, coming back at you with another kind of like a smaller workshop build. Um, this actually, I ended up making it kind of a little more kind of like in the African theme, kind of like we've been going. But the reference from this is actually not in the African section of Animal Kingdom at all. This is actually in the Asia Trek area. And it's kind of like a little, um, you know, like where the Flight of Wonders uh, kind of like the little show stage area is. It's just a little bit past that. Well, I don't even know if it's there anymore. It used to be a little bit past Flight of Wonders. And it's kind of like an unimposing little walk-up snack shop. And that is kind of what I wanted to do for you guys. Um, just wanted to throw you something on the workshop that if you had a little open section, maybe on one of your little paths or even one of your little village areas, or the Main Street area. Uh, I figured you could plop this down. Um, I left a space open in the middle where you'll see like in mine, I just put the menu, like this is just like a, kind of like just a decoration piece, like a, a fake kind of facade for you to use. But you could always open it up where I've left room in the middle and actually put you a snack shop if you wanted to use it as that. Um, but more so, I kind of designed it just in the vein of giving you a decoration piece for your streets and, and like I said, your villages and stuff. So went a little more themey and a little more dramatic than the actual little walk-up uh, little walk-up snack shop is. But, you know, I just, I always kind of like to give you guys just a little more pop than, um, I guess, than leaving it more realistic, which is sometimes is a, is a detriment. You know, sometimes I, I wish I could get in and just build, like, do some realistic, uh, minimalistic builds because some of you guys are crazy, crazy talented, like, um, names like Zoofluencer come to mind and, uh, BZ and Ruble Trillions, um, uh, really, really come to mind when we're talking more holding back as far as the realism goes, but still making it look incredible. Where I am on the other end of the spectrum, if I try to make something look incredible and do it realistic, it's tough to pull off because I'm just uh, kind of like I'm a, a layer, you know? <laughs> I like have to throw spaghetti at the wall and see what sticks and that is kind of just my design process. I can't take, um, I really can't take a minimalistic approach and make builds look good. I mean, maybe I could, I've just never given it enough time to flesh out. I've never really kind of practiced that style enough. Uh, maybe I could, that's something that I could jump into and try to do some kind of realistic, um, you know, Simply Savannah, Beyond Drew type build. Um, and not always have to go like way over the top uh, theming with it. But it's kind of just what brings me enjoyment in the game. Like if you guys are ever wondering like, why does this guy only do like hyper fantasy, mega themed out, you know, Australia, Africa, um, you know, Pandora floating mountain type builds. That's just, it's just what's fun in the game to me. So um, I, I gave real, I gave realism a go in Pine Creek and don't get me wrong, had a ton of fun, was one of my favorite zoos that I've ever built. But I just think like, as far as like my imagination flows, it's just more into the fantasy side of things. Um, that's just kind of like, um, kind of like my thing, kind of like my shtick here is, uh, is hyper fantasy builds and way over theming and props and you know, I just, it's just fun. But nonetheless, I am always in awe of the realistic builders out there. Um, if you guys get a chance to ever join the Bro Nation Discord is one of the ones that pops into my mind and have really kind of carried over that realism mantle, even from the Planet Coaster days. Um, just really, really kind of enjoy that style. I almost, in, I, I'm almost more like I enjoy consuming that style um, in the form of content than building it myself because those guys are like absolute wizards. Um, and Ricey, look the way she does the um, kind of like her realistic layouts and producing realistic looking fonts for us menu boards, stuff like that. Um, it's just a real, real different type of talent 
than I present to you guys. Um, going with with the hyper fantasy, but nonetheless, we still we all have fun. I think we bounce off. I think we bounce off of each other really good. Like they'll see stuff that I do, and they'll send me a message on Twitter or Instagram, you know, telling me, "Man, that's totally like how do you like you, um, how do you get these pieces thrown together like this?" And it always ends up working. They're like, "When I try to do this, it looks like crap." And I like turn it back on them. I'm like, well, that's exactly how I feel when you guys are pumping out these awesome realistic backstage builds. And I'm like, how, how is this possible? So, you know, it's, it's kind of like, um, it, it's a give and take in the community of, of bouncing ideas off each other from the realism fantasy and, the, and, uh, you know, just kind of what we make happen. So interesting stuff. But anyways, let's jump into the real time and I'll let you jump on out of here. I just wanted to show you this and then uh, we'll throw it up on the workshop. So hold on one second. All right, guys. So here is the little finished product. Took just about 55 minutes, just a little under an hour to kind of put all this together. But this is what you're going to be getting. And see, it's not too, not too imposing, is it? I didn't kind of like, I didn't want it to have a really big footprint. Um, this is actually the 2x2 two two board back there, I believe. But I didn't want it to... You guys can play around with this, you know, when you get your own little menus and stuff. But, you know, just a little walk-up kind of shack like this. I wanted a smaller menu. I didn't want it to have, like, you know, obviously we this massive menu board. Because you can see, like I said, how, how tiny it is. They're not going to have, like, you know five course dinners coming out of here. This is just like a little quick walk by like, oh, turkey leg or oh, let's get a corn dog over here and let's get a, let's get some drinks. <laughs> so it's kind of like that. Um, got their little like just a little storage area kind of caged in over here. Little little cart in the back. And then of course the uh, like the little employee access door, some windows brought the roof piece a little bit further out over there. Uh, got the little, like my little makeshift guttering system coming off. Uh, the little, like the little birds from the Arctic pack. I just think those, like the weathered look that these have, they just, they're just so cool for theming, you know? So, yeah. Compared to the Tree of Life build, that was a lot quicker. So, we're, we're, we're getting our little collection going. So, you know, we've got Tamu Tamu. It's already on the workshop. The guest house, you'll find it on the workshop. Our tree of life, this big guy, you'll find it on the workshop. Thank you, you guys have already got that like up at the top of the Planet Zoo Steam workshop page and it's only, it's not even been out like 24 hours yet. So really awesome, awesome on you guys for that. And what else do I have in here? Um, I've got, I built this for Savannah inside, um, inside Pine Mountain Sanctuary. You guys did really good on that build for me as well. And yeah, so this is our, this is our next little guy. I think I was figuring maybe some of you guys would appreciate not such a large footprint like we were talking about and just getting you some, maybe that's what I'll focus on for the next little bit. Um, just getting you some smaller little um, shops worked out. And like I was saying, guys, if you get into there and you download this, um, just bust all this stuff out if you have to and slide those windows over and you can put you an actual uh, little snack stand in there. So like I said, I just kind of did it um, just in the vein of decoration for you. But by all means, bust that apart and get in there and put you an actual shop up where the little guests can walk up to it and stuff and or you know maybe get rid of this piece of wall like get rid of all this move the menu and everything over a little bit and put your actual little snack station right here in this box and get you a little vendor in there so anyways guys yes as always, thank you guys for stopping by. I will get this put on the workshop right now. So you guys go and uh, subscribe to it for me and rate it. And uh, let me know what you think about it. And of course, send me a screenshot if you end up using it in your zoo somewhere. I'll probably plop this down in Lost Creek um, somewhere. Actually, Beezy, uh, my buddy Beezy Builds has the Lost Creek file right now. 
and um, he's been sending me some screenshots and I absolutely cannot wait to get that back and see what he has been messing with. He's bringing uh, gorillas to Lost Creek and he's building me a little bridge area that is gonna bring guests from the entrance of the African area across the lagoon um, over to the Tree of Life or what we'll call in Lost Creek, uh, we're just calling it the Great Tree. Um, and then of course, if you download it, I've left the inside of it open for you guys if you wanna put a theater in there or some kind of shop or some kind of enclosure. Um, you're, you know, you're just trying to leave, leave that open for you, leave some options open for you. But yeah, come check this little guy out as well. And uh, don't forget to smash the like button if you end up enjoying this video and subscribe to keep up with more Planet Zoo content. And uh, your old buddy S-Dan will catch you in the next video. Thank you. See you guys.